great. It's June 15th. This is what I want to know. What would you rather celebrate? Father's Day or the date of your last child support payment? Or what if your last child support payment was on Father's Day weekend? That's what you call divine divinity. Listen here, bitch. Every damn hustling. I heard you was over there talking about you. The, the best Father's Day gift you could have got was you sending your last child support payment, payment or something. <laughs> you stupid, silly mother. Who the give a fuck about your child support payments? So look, Attention. Lock now, them down. Now that, now that that truth has been told. All right. I think it shows distaste to talk about your lifeline. Yeah. Do this hoe get money coming from anywhere else? Does the woman have money? Her source of income is Rick Ross, right? I was just going to say that. It is connected. That's the connection. I mean, that's probably how she got the pot. And now that the money might be running out, she talking crazy. And if I want some more, I take my over the family court and get some while he going to college. Worthy for me sitting in the system and going back and forth to court to drag your big fat funky old zippy take it down for a little something. I'm making that per show. You didn't know? Are we up now? What are you gonna do now? Stupid mother. I could pay for college out of pocket now, you dumb fat. Alexa! Cut that bitch off now. I'm talking. Get that bitch out my house. Follow me as I walk and be quiet. So saith the Lord. As you know, when you're 21, you no longer need child support, right? Well, 50 announced that he's throwing a child support release party. <laughs> he says, ladies, ladies who don't collect child support get in for free. My son just turned 18 years old. Best day of my life because he's one of the trios I have. I have three kids and he's the last. 18 years old and there's a man that's in his 50s. When you see your kids get 18 years old, that is your chance for you to live your life. I tell my kids all the time, once you turn 18, our relationship has changed. How is that daddy? I said, let me explain. I am no longer the provider. I am the advisor. Philosophy of what my responsibility to her is. And mine is once I divorced you, my only responsibility is to take care of my son and not take care of you. Your situation and your independence and your survival, you're responsible for, not me. Let me make sure I rephrase that. Every once in a while, I run into a lady that's worth a dime. Most of the women I know can't wait they can't wait to get you in a situation where they could send this system at your ass. Got him. Mm. You know what, man? They told me you can't record divorce proceedings. Well, if you could record divorce proceedings, you would see something that'll blow your mind. How many men are in court after they done took care of their family for years and this woman, when she threw with you, she go grab this system and throw it at you and act like you're the worst person in the world. If I had a child and I can't take care of the baby, why should I be able to put the dad that's financially stable on child support? Greetings, you polite savages, and welcome to another Tip Talk. Let's get ready to rumble! Ladies and gentlemen and polite savages, we are now about to embark on a journey guaranteed to anger modern women and harlotins alike. The only thing that we can guarantee is that we tell the truth and nothing but the truth as we see it. So hold on. Are you ready? Let's go. The biggest fear that a man has in the United States is facing down the double-headed dragon of the family court system and being mentioned in the moniker of a deadbeat dad. To the extent that men have gone through extreme, and I say extreme, tactics to not be called this, including paying for child support in advance, paying it all at once, 
or just making sure that their child support payments are paid. But what happens when a man does the responsible thing and a woman decides that she, yes, that she is entitled to more than she actually was that the court system had granted her? It's already bad enough that the man had to pay an absorbent amount of money, but he doesn't mind because he's taking care of his child. But when it's all said and done, what are these women planning on doing with their lives? Are they just depending on this money to be there for the rest of their lives? If the man is very, very wealthy, are they depending on him to continue the support even after, and I say after, the child has reached maturity? These women of the modern day always play the sob story about what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Well, ma'am, you should have planned. You should have got a job. You should have been enterprising. You should have been that boss babe you always claim, but instead you did nothing, and so you suffer. Because after that child is over the age of 18, and in some cases 21, he or she is no longer the parent financial responsibility. So those 15 years of extra payments accumulated to six months early of me paying. So I say a joke. My son is 70, but in child support years, he's 18. Right. What made you want to come out now with kind of like get these stories out? Because it's like I'm tired of suffering in silence. You know, like now I got a message from him like right before Thanksgiving. Okay. He was like saying, um, you know, I'm over in my child support and mm. I'm done with my financial obligations. Mm. So he was paying less than $3,500, paying $14, $114 over on his child support. So now he's like, I'm done. Mm. So now I feel like my son and I are right back in the beginning when we started out like homeless. Mm. We're so ma'am, let me get this straight. He paid extra every month for 15 years. And at the end of all of that, you were talking about being homeless. Man, what exactly were you doing all this time when you were collecting that child support? Were you working? Were you trying to get a little busy? Were you trying to just put down something for your future? No, ma'am. You were sitting back enjoying that money. Yes, it was for you and your son and not just your son. Because if it was for your son, you would have went and got yourself a job. You would have got yourself an occupation. Something you could have did to really make ends meet. You see, the modern woman out here doesn't recognize, or at least most of them, that child support is for the child and not to supplement your lifestyle because this man is making money all of a sudden. But the bitterness and the ethos of the modern woman is, if I see it, I must have it. And when you couldn't have it, you decided to take it in the form of the good old fashioned child support payments. And when it ran out, you were up the creek without a paddle. That's right. Now look at you, etc. Okay, um, what about they live in the house with their mom yes. 24 7, right? Yes, they live in their home. So, do you right. pay any of those bills in their house? Yes, I did. They you grown did. now. Uh, we're, we're gonna focus, yeah, when they was down. when they were kids, yes. So, the 16 year old, not right now. So, you yes. still have one that's underage yes, and well what? taken care of. What does that look like it's right amazing. now today? It's amazing. What does it look like? What do you mean what it looks like? For the 16-year-old right now, what does that look like? How do you take care of him? Um, a boy, visit, right? we hang, go to games, etc. School? Yeah, pay for goes, it? Yeah, I don't, I don't take him to school. You got a car? No, he's 16. He, no. So who drives him to school? His mom. So you pay for the gas? No. Do you pay for her car insurance? No. Do you pay for her car bill? No. Do you pay for her light bill? No. Do you give her money for food? Of course. How much? Whatever she needs. So every month you don't. I don't. I don't see, here, so she has a, to ask you see, for see, it. See, here's the thing that's structured with most women, and this is how you're thinking. You're thinking I need X, Y, and Z, but there's some women on this planet who move a certain way, and when they need something, because if you got your stuff together, um, so how so, about you get your stuff together? Some too? women will say, "Baby, I need this." And here you have the typical modern woman trying to justify and make this man into a horrible father. Now, we've never heard any complaints about him not being a good father or even being what they would like to call a deadbeat dad. But instead, what we have here is a lady badgering a man, the comedian T.K. Kirkland, about how he takes care of his child. And she's saying, are you paying this bill or that bill or this bill or that bill? ma'am it's none of your business you see that's between him and the baby's mother to decide how it works out and if she's very satisfied with giving him a call every now and again and him just wiring her whatever she needs money wise it's probably coming out to more than what the child support monthly would have been but women like you don't understand how that with a little cooperation you actually win and this is why you're by yourself 
right now. This is why you're not suitable to even have a man. And a man that you think you want, you're never going to be qualified for him. Because here's a big secret. Them high value men that you think you want, that you think you deserve. You don't really want them because if you wanted them, you would learn a simple, simple thing. How to shut up, close your mouth, and just listen. Because if you would have listened to the man, you would have heard that he had more than a good thing going on with his ex. They were co-parenting. He was taking his kids to games, doing special things with his son, making sure that his son was growing up in a special way that he wanted him to. And the mother seems to be very happy with this arrangement because if she wasn't, Lord knows he would be smeared all over the news. I'm Tia, the mother of Rick Ross's son. Here I am, here's my story. I mean, it's sort of embarrassing to me, you know, because um, as you listen to his raps, you would definitely believe him, but I mean, it was surprising that he would sit there and say he spends $200 a month on food, $300 a month on clothes, his jury is rented. You hear? Look like, but she make that, make that, make that. What? Stop it down there, cause the people knocking and stuff up there. I heard it. And if you sit by the river long enough, your enemy will reveal themselves. And look at her, sitting up with 50 Cent, knowing at the time that 50 and Rick Ross was embroiled in a long, boiling wrap beef. And what does she do? Sit there and tell all of his business. Oh yeah, his jewelry is rented, and he don't really have the money he said he had. Ma'am, that was nobody's business. If you were his baby's mom and his confidant, perhaps you were just supposed to keep your mouth shut. But no, you couldn't do that. See, the ethos of the modern woman is, I must strike back. I can't take a L under any circumstances. You can see it in the comment section. These women sitting here stomping for the sisterhood over and over and over again. No matter how wrong they'll be, they'll never quit. And this is why you're at the bottom of the barrel selection wise. Now look at you, clapping your butt on Instagram, acting like you're a 22 year old harlotin, thought muffin, ratchet patchet, or just a regular old bust down. And how embarrassed must you have been when your son asked you, what the hell are you doing? Oh, I'm just stomping on the floor because these people are making noise here. <laughs> like a typical teenager. And this is the person we're supposed to feel sorry for because uh, Rick Ross celebrated paying his final payment too. Heck, I would have threw a celebration if I didn't have to pay you anymore, you yuckle tooth bastard. $200 in child support, that's nothing. What you mean? Bro, he bro, he needs more time. He needs more gifts. He needs something. Like, what is 2200 and what is that doing, bro? I'm so tired of this. Seriously. Get the money and get the gifts. I don't want to do that. The money is for daycare and other I'm just The scripture said, surely amongst your wives and your children, there's an enemy to you. Let me tell you something, mm -hmm. man. Don't be mad at me because I know my enemies when I see it. Don't be mad at me for calling out my enemies. If you will deceive and manipulate me, I don't have the sympathy that the weak have for you. That's Book of Corinthians right there. There you go. Got another revenge story for you. A Virginia father paid his final child support payment to his ex in pennies. 80,000 of them. He pulled up to his ex's house, here's the video, in a rented trailer to dump all of the pennies out on the lawn. He explained it was the result of 18 years of built up frustration. Thank you for watching the Tip Network. Follow us on all social media outlets and ask yourself one burning question. Can you handle the tip? Boom, we're out.